I think Ms. Mary Wan, a registered traditional Chinese medicine practitioner and acupuncturist. Welcome to my live post number 79. Um, as the author of Pathways to Pregnancy and founder of Alive Holistic Health, I am so thrilled to have with us tonight Dr. Jody Peacock. And the reason being is that there's something crazy awesome coming on. And that is, oh, actually, when's the date? March? April 14th. April 14th. We can't see Jody right now. She's on the other side, but we're going to bring her in. So, Because I, I want to tell you a little bit about Dr. Peacock before I start. <laughs> so Dr. Peacock has a special interest in women's health concerns, including hormone balancing, addressing the adrenals, thyroid, and ovarian function. This can help symptoms associated with fertility, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, PMS, so premenstrual syndrome, weight gain, and fatigue. So Dr. Peacock is passionate about educating couples on how to optimize their fertility and the health of their future children. This is the major driving force behind organizing the first Canadian fertility show for the public, again, which is in a couple of weeks. She has also created the Enhanced Fertility Boot Camp Program to guide and support as many couples as possible through the wealth of research on the impact of diet and lifestyle changes with regards to conception. So let's bring her on. Hi. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much for having me on today. Well, I'm so thrilled that you have found the time because I know you're a busy lady having a practice, running a practice, and then putting on this awesome um, first time for a Canadian fertility show. So I would love to hear more about this, but the very first thing I want to know and that, that our audience will want to know is, you know, let's hear about your story. Why the interest in fertility? Yeah, that's a great question. And one I've had asked multiple times, obviously, with putting this on. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I was actually diagnosed with, uh, with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. And at that point, basically, you know, the OB had said, you know, your option is you can take the birth control pill to manage symptoms. And that's really all we have to offer you. Uh, and P.S. Don't wait too long to have kids because it'll be really difficult for you. Um, and so at that point, I was in my first year of naturopathic medical school and thought, OK, well, the pill is probably not going to be my best option as, as a treatment because it really just band-aids symptoms. So I spent a lot of time researching and figuring out lifestyle and dietary ways to to manage the PCOS so that it would, you know, obviously help my health, but also protect and preserve my fertility. Sure. So through, yeah, through my 20s, I really spent a lot of time with that. Um just as a side note, completely different, you're cut off in the head. <laughs> okay. Oh, that that, I just want people to be able to see you better. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so then let's backtrack a little bit. So you were already in naturopathic college before you even found out their piece. Yeah, I was in my first year of school. Yeah. So that's interesting. So what had you become interested in naturopathic college? Um, basically, I mean, when I was growing up I always thought I was going to be a medical doctor that was the route I was going to take um, I did my undergrad in biomedical sciences at Guelph and while I was there there was a career fair when um, the naturopathic school came and exhibited and it just totally clicked with me once I talked to them I was like okay I can work preventatively proactively really spend time helping to educate patients on how to improve their health so it, it just made a lot more sense to me Absolutely. That's fantastic. Okay, great. Um, so then tell us about the Canadian Fertility Show. And it is the first time. So this yes. is awesome. Yeah, so why did you decide? I'd had several patients come in that had actually traveled over to the UK to go to a fertility show that's been running there for about 10 years. Um, and so I just thought, you know what, why, why is this not something that we're offering to the North American public? Um, so it is obviously a pretty big undertaking to put on a show of this magnitude. So I jumped in with two feet and I said, you know what, let's give it a go and, and really help support people. Because the, the number of people that come in the office that just feel like they have no one to talk to, they feel alone, they, even if they're you know, going to a fertility clinic, oftentimes... They don't want to talk to anybody in the waiting room. They don't want to acknowledge that, you know, they're, they're having an issue. Um, so really one of the main pushes behind putting the show on is to bring 
the fact that, you know, one in six couples in North America does struggle with fertility and it shouldn't be something that people feel ashamed about, that feel that they can't talk about um, and to start bringing some awareness and understanding to this condition. So then for the show, so it sounds like it's very appropriate for those people who are currently experiencing fertility challenges. But how about the families uh, that, you know, aren't going through it or um so friends and family members, as well as those who are one day maybe looking at trying to conceive. Absolutely. So they're basically through the day, there are 18 different lectures going on and it covers things, you know, like surrogacy. So maybe if someone's considering being a surrogate for someone, they would be able to come and get information. If you're considering being, you know, an egg or sperm donor. So maybe you, you don't, you know, you're, you're done having kids or you don't want to have kids, but you want to help support someone else on that journey. There'll be lots of education in that realm. Um, there's also a lecture on social egg freezing. So that's something that's becoming a lot more popular and people are talking about a lot more. So women, you know, in their late twenties that, think they may want to have a family but aren't you know either maybe financially or in a position where they're ready to have kids this would be a great topic for them to come and learn about and then just from my own experience with being able to you know put in you know really good lifestyle and dietary changes through my 20s I was able to conceive my children naturally without having to use a fertility clinic even with the PCOS diagnosis um, so I think, you know, even, you know, women that maybe are having any kind of hormonal imbalances or struggles that way would really benefit from coming to get some education. Okay, I think that's really, really great. So yes, thanks for adding that. And just so everyone else out there knows, I am actually going to be speaking there as well. So thank you for having me. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to have you speak. Yeah. And well, and uh, so just so the audience knows my topic that I will be speaking about and addressing is that you are not your diagnosis. So not everybody may have a diagnosis. And even when there's an unexplained diagnosis, that's a diagnosis of unexplained, right? So when you have that, there's a certain, how you take it in and how you be in life shows up. And so I really want to address that and turn things around, make it a more positive experience for everyone, because really, ultimately, you know, not to give the whole talk away, but really, I, I believe that it's a moment in time when one has a diagnosis. So that's all I'm saying. And uh, <laughs> are you speaking yourself there as well? I am. I'm actually speaking on um, PCOS and Perfect. natural ways to help um, regulate ovulation and hormonal balance. Yeah. Okay, great. So no matter what diagnosis you have, or perhaps you're not even in that category, but uh, you're just starting out, it would be a great way to um, learn about different things through these 18 lectures. So it's a full day, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it runs from 10 till 5 um, at the International Center. So that's by the airport. That's right. Yeah. Toronto, for those of yeah. you who are in Toronto. <laughs> And if you're not from Toronto, and if you're not that far away, maybe you would just come on over because us Canadians are lovely people. <laughs> do you have any, um, actually, do you even know where people are coming from that are signing up right now? Um, most people so far have signed up from like better in the GTA area, but we do have exhibitors. I've there's um, an exhibitor coming from the UK. There's several coming from um, the United States as well. So uh, it is definitely has some international appeal. And they're really, from what I've seen, there's, there is one show that's running in California um, at the end of April. Uh, but other than that, there really isn't anything of this magnitude that I've come across anywhere kind of on the Eastern seaboard of the United States. So it would be a viable option for oh. people coming in for sure. For sure, especially if you're Eastern Seaboard. So yeah, come along, check it out. Uh, just out of curiosity, uh, is there going to be any um, videotaping, like recording of the lectures? Um, we don't have any plan to record the lectures at this point. Um, it is just going to be a live event for the first year, um, but it might be something we consider in future years. Right. That's great. I love the optimism. See, future years. Yeah. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And um, anything, oh, wait. What? So what can attendees expect to learn overall? You know, what's the big takeaway for people? 
I mean, I want the big takeaway for people to really be they can take control of their fertility. So whether that's through talking to someone like yourself who really specializes in acupuncture, talking to, you know, a nutritionist or one of the naturopathic doctors with the fertility doctors, you know, it isn't like you said, you've been diagnosed maybe with something that might be impacting your fertility, but nothing, there isn't really anything that would say, you know, this is off the table. Um, and then there is also looking at other options for people as well. So maybe they haven't explored adoption. Maybe they haven't explored, you know, working with Children's Aid. Like there's going to be, you know, adoption agencies. Um, the Peel oh. um, Children's Aid Society is going to be attending as well. So then, you know, there are other ways to parent and have impact um, on children other than just having, you know, children yourself. So I really want to open up people's eyes to those other options as well. Right, absolutely. And I think that's brilliant, because that is always out there. And um, so I think that's a really lovely way to well, not necessarily embrace, but at least be open to considering when you have all these vendors at the different booths, so you don't have to you don't feel like you're tied to any of it, right? Just get a little dabble of information. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so great. Well, And I think it's the first time we'll have that many S experts in different areas in the fertility world altogether right so and it, it's not easy for people to get around to all these different practitioners all these different clinics when they have you know busy work schedules and so it really is a great opportunity to to spend the day learning from as many different experts as you can and i i love this and you hit the nail on the head because it's different kinds of experts so we're looking at Western allopathic medicine, naturopathic doctors. Uh, I don't know who else is there, but so, you know, Chinese medicine um, and, and then like other pathways, as you say, in terms of actually trying to have it, creating a, a family. So doing that is it's a really integrative approach. And this is a segue for me to tell everyone that next Thursday. So you have this great mandate about offering this kind of service to the public, right? So I'm taking a different step where next Thursday I'm doing a live webinar for all the Canadian Fertility Andrology Society. So basically all the fertility clinics across Canada. And so my personal mission has been to integrate medicine. So this is a great opportunity, hopefully, mm -hmm. that there will be more uptake between fertility clinics and us complementary types of medical care and because what I visualize for the future so you visualize this fertility show going on indefinitely and what I visualize is really the collaboration yeah. between eastern western uh, or holistic practices together because to me and I hope you out there will get what I'm saying when it's not about necessarily just having to embrace one thing and as much as I would like to think one type of mes medicine is the end all be all, meaning it's omnipotent. The fact and the truth is that n not, no one medicine is, is omnipotent. And sometimes it does require, you know, meeting uh, of two kinds of medicines or more. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So and that's, I mean, the other aspect of it is, you know, when you look at the lectures that are set up through the day, you know, it rotates between traditional medical doctors, acupuncturists, social workers, naturopathic doctors, so that, you know, people can see how things do fit together. Um, and that, you know, it isn't one versus the other, that it should all be collaborative for the patient's best interest. You know what? Thank you. And then I'm just going to add that piece to the webinar and say, hey, this show is happening. Because and awesome. it's Canadian. so I will say that in my webinar. <laughs> I just thought of it right the second. I think that's brilliant because again, the whole point is about creating um, integration, communication, collaboration, right? Yeah. In the best interest of our people, our peeps in Canada. Yeah, and that's one in six. So I think that's really awesome. So thank you for creating this. You know, really, I think that what a huge undertaking and I so appreciate it. And so will all the women and couples. And so that brings me to you have time to go on. What's the website? Uh, Canadian Fertility Show .ca. OK, so everybody check out this website 
And am I allowed to tell them that there might be a discount code? Yeah, absolutely. Give them your code. <laughs> absolutely. You know, they're watching this, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So there is a discount code. And you know what? For the life of me, I think it is CFS in caps and then capital A for alive. And then is that it? I Do think you know? yours is a lot. I think it's alive. Yeah. Double check it. So it's, I think it's capital CFS and then dash cap- alive. Oh, dash. Yeah, dash. And Thanks. then a lot. I'm pretty sure it's your whole. Yeah. I don't think it's a live holistic health clinic. It'll be too no, long. No, it's just alive. It's just alive. Yeah. Right. And there'd be capital A and then there's yeah. lowercase for the rest. Yeah. And so if you sign in or you purchase with that, you get 50% off, which is so yeah. awesome. I'm yeah, trying to tickets. Oh. So the tickets would be $6 then. Yes. So it's very affordable. I really wanted to keep it affordable for patients so that, you know, cost and price was not a barrier to coming. To the Absolutely. Show. So that's you know why we really have appreciated our amazing sponsors that have come on board, people like yourself that are being such a huge support to this show. That's what's you know allowed us to keep ticket prices as low as we've been able to do it. So oh yes, and and if you come, we have a chance to win raffle gifts. <laughs> yeah. So we have some awesome gifts, at least in our booth. So we actually have a booth, a live holistic health. And um, I don't know what other people are doing, but I assume that others may have some raffle gifts. Yeah, as well. absolutely. And then there, the swag bag for the first 500 people to that arrive at the show also has some pretty, pretty nice swag in it. So get there okay. early to make sure you get your bag. Yeah, awesome. Okay, thank you for being here. And uh, everyone, thank you for being here as well. <laughs> So join me next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have always lots to talk about. Something interesting. It'll be awesome. So have a great night. Again, check out Canadian Fertility Show March. So it's it's Saturday, all day, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. 10 to 5. 10 to 5. Yeah. Okay, March 14th. April 14th. April 14th. (laughs) (laughs) And no, March 14th, next Thursday, I'm speaking my webinar but nobody can attend that unless you're a a fertility doctor or something okay (laughs) so i want you guys to give me good vibes so that everybody will collaborate okay absolutely thank Thank you you again so much for your support mary i really absolutely thank you to everybody watching and grab your tickets now for six dollars yes cfs alive (laughs) okay guys Thanks, and we'll look forward to having you next Wednesday. And um, also check out my website, marywong.life, or go underneath, scroll down, you'll see lots of videos. Otherwise, go through my website, marywong.life. Check out my book, Pathways to Pregnancy. You can get that on Amazon, on Barnes & Noble, on Indigo Chapters. So check it out, and we'll see you next week, 8 p.m. Take care. Bye for now.